NASA has announced the terrifying discovery of a massive asteroid in our solar system that could decimate any planet, including Earth. This has caused panic among astronomers as the asteroid could cause an extinction-level event if it came close to our planet, just like the one that wiped out the dinosaurs. Let's take a closer look. Asteroids are rocky objects revolving around the Sun that are too small to be called planets. They are also known as planetoids or minor planets. There are millions of asteroids, ranging in size from hundreds of miles to several feet across. In total, the mass of all the asteroids is less than that of Earth's moon. Despite their size, asteroids can be dangerous. Many have hit Earth in the past, and more will crash into our planet in the future. That's one reason scientists study asteroids and are eager to learn more about their numbers, orbits, and physical characteristics. If an asteroid is headed our way, we want to know about it. According to NASA, scientists have identified more than one million asteroids to date. They lie primarily within three regions of the solar system. Most asteroids lie in a vast ring between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. This main asteroid belt holds more than 200 of these rocks larger than 60 miles in diameter. Scientists estimate the asteroid belt also contains between 1.1 million and 1.9 million rocks, larger than a mile in diameter and millions of smaller ones. Not everything in the main belt is an asteroid. Ceres, once thought of as only an asteroid, is now also considered a dwarf planet. In the past decade, scientists have also identified a class of objects known as main belt comets, small rocky objects with tails. While some of the tails form when objects crash into an asteroid or by disintegrating asteroids, others may be comets in disguise. Many asteroids lie outside the main belt. For example, Trojan asteroids orbit the Sun along the same path as a larger planet in two special places about 60 degrees ahead of and behind the planet. At these locations, known as Lagrange points, the gravitational pull of the Sun and the planet are balanced. Jupiter has the most Trojans with more than 10,000 such objects, according to the International Astronomical Union's database. Other planets have a few Trojans. Neptune has 30, Mars has 9, and Earth and Uranus each have one that scientists have identified to date. Scientists also suspect that many of the solar system's moons were once asteroids until they were captured by a planet's gravity and became satellites. Likely candidates include Mars' moons, Phobos and Deimos, and most of the outer moons of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Near-Earth asteroids circle the Sun at about the same distance as Earth does. These objects are split into subcategories based on how the asteroid's orbit compares to Earth's. For example, Amor asteroids have orbits that approach Earth's path but remain exclusively between Earth and Mars. Apollo asteroids have Earth-crossing orbits but spend most of their time outside the planet's path. Aten asteroids also cross Earth's orbit but spend most of their time inside Earth's orbit. Atira asteroids are near-Earth asteroids whose orbits are contained within Earth's orbit. Astronomers also classify certain near-Earth asteroids as potentially hazardous asteroids or PHAs. These rocks come within about 4.65 million miles of Earth's orbit and are larger than 500 feet across. However, the classification does not imply that the asteroid poses a certain threat to Earth. As of October 2021, scientists have discovered more than 27,000 near-Earth asteroids. Of these, just under 10,000 have diameters larger than 500 feet. In 1801, while making a star map, Italian priest and astronomer Giuseppe Piazzi accidentally discovered the first and largest asteroid, Ceres, orbiting between Mars and Jupiter. Although Ceres is classified today as a dwarf planet, it accounts for a quarter of the mass of all the known asteroids in or near the main asteroid belt. Since about 2000, NASA has spearheaded a campaign to identify and track down near-Earth asteroids. Programs like the Catalina Sky Survey in Arizona and the Pan Stars Telescopes in Hawaii specialize in identifying these objects and have each discovered thousands of asteroids. Asteroids are leftovers from the formation of our solar system about 4.6 billion years ago. Early on, the birth of Jupiter prevented any planetary bodies from forming in the gap between Mars and Jupiter, causing the small objects that were there to collide with each other and fragment into the asteroids seen today. Understanding of how the solar system evolved is constantly expanding. 
Two fairly recent theories, the NICE model and the GRANTAC, suggest that the gas giants moved around before settling into their modern orbits. This movement could have sent asteroids from the main belt raining down on the terrestrial planets, emptying and refilling the original belt. Nearly all asteroids are irregularly shaped, although a few of the largest are nearly spherical, such as Ceres. They are often pitted or cratered. For instance, Vesta has a giant crater some 285 miles in diameter. Ever since Earth formed about 4.5 billion years ago, asteroids and comets have routinely slammed into the planet. The most dangerous of the asteroids that hit Earth are extremely rare. An asteroid capable of global disaster would have to be more than a quarter mile wide. Researchers have estimated that such an impact would raise enough dust into the atmosphere to effectively create a nuclear winter, severely disrupting agriculture around the world. Asteroids that large strike Earth only once every 1,000 centuries on average. Smaller ones that are believed to strike Earth every 1,000 to 10,000 years could destroy a city or cause devastating tsunamis. According to NASA, space rocks smaller than 82 feet will most likely burn up as they enter Earth's atmosphere. However, scientists are still eager to study any potential scenarios just in case such a catastrophic situation arises. Research conducted in 2017 looked at all possible outcomes based on 50,000 computer simulated impact sites all around the globe. It was observed that the biggest threat to humans for the size of asteroids, which were simulated in addition to actually recorded encounters, was the wind. A study of the Chelyabinsk Bolide event that happened in Russia in 2013 revealed that when the asteroid disintegrated in midair, most of the injuries and damage reported were caused by aerodynamic shock that knocked people down to the ground. It also damaged windows and structures, the debris from which caused further indirect injuries to people close by. The biggest takeaway from studying this event was that the asteroid didn't even impact the surface. Most of the damage was caused by the forces of wind that were generated upon entry into the atmosphere and the resulting pressure which kicked up debris. The bigger the asteroid, the more likely it is to generate even more wind pressure that can level entire towns and cities. In addition to the wind, another significant threat to all life from an asteroid's impact will be from thermal radiation. The Tunguska event is another asteroid scare that happened in the Siberian region of Russia. The asteroid exploded before impact and caused around 1,250 miles of dense forest to fall and set a further 186 miles of trees ablaze. Luckily, Siberia is a region that was scarcely populated when the disaster took place back in 1908, and this prevented the loss of human life. However, if a similar event happens today, the damage and loss of life will be massive. Researchers were quick to point out that, had the asteroid diverted from its path and exploded over a populated region, the release of energy would be sufficient enough to cause significant casualties and knock down any buildings in its path. One of the biggest points of speculation is how many lives would be lost on the planet due to tsunamis resulting from an asteroid collision. The simulations from 2017 state that it would be a massive concern. However, this is only limited in the event of an asteroid hitting the ocean directly. This makes up about 20% of the overall threat of impacting asteroids as most of them are usually expected to impact the land. If an asteroid was to hit the ocean, the resulting tsunamis would be the biggest source of destruction. Estimates suggest that they would be the direct cause of at least 70% of the total loss of life on Earth. These estimates may increase even more depending on the size of the asteroid and the exact location of impact. Researchers say that people who live near the ocean and all coastal cities would need to be completely evacuated to have any chance of survival as the massive tides would probably end up swallowing entire cities and changing the landscape of the planet dramatically. A large asteroid hitting Earth will most likely be the end of life as we know it. In 2008, a simulation that was used to study the effects of a small asteroid hitting the planet found that an object just 200 feet in diameter can level reinforced concrete buildings in a 5-mile radius of the impact zone. This means that it could completely level an entire city the size of Paris. This is because an asteroid of that size can easily generate up to 50 megatons of energy. To put things into perspective, the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima released around 15 kilotons of energy, while the SAR bomb, the biggest nuclear bomb ever tested, released a staggering 57 tons of energy. The shockwave from the test traveled across the entire planet, and third-degree burns were suffered by people hundreds of miles away. 
An asteroid of such a seemingly tiny size could generate the same power and cause untold destruction if it landed in a populated area. While most of the effects of an asteroid impact would be immediate, the problems wouldn't end after the initial destruction. Even if there are any survivors, life will become extremely difficult on the planet over time. One of the biggest reasons for this will be the loss of crops. A group working for NASA discovered that if an asteroid larger than 1.2 miles hit the planet, it would severely degrade the global climate. This would lead to widespread crop failure and loss of life thanks to the massive clouds of dust and debris the impact would generate. Soot from wildfires would mix with this debris and block out the sun and plunge the Earth into something called impact winter. It would significantly lower global temperatures and destroy vegetation, eventually resulting in a shortage of food and causing deaths due to mass starvation. NASA has announced that a planet-killer asteroid that is hiding in the glare of the sun has finally been detected, and the giant space rock could smash into Earth one day. The 0.9-mile-wide, potentially hazardous asteroid, named 2022 AP-7, is one of several large space rocks that astronomers recently discovered near the orbits of Earth and Venus. Currently, 2022 AP-7 crosses Earth's orbit while our planet is on the opposite side of the Sun, but scientists say that over thousands of years, the asteroid and Earth will slowly start to cross the same point closer together, thereby increasing the odds of a catastrophic impact. The asteroid was discovered alongside two other near-Earth asteroids using the Cerro Tololo Inter-American Observatory in Chile. To find the asteroids, astronomers trained the Cerro Tololo Victor M. Blanco 4-meter telescope's dark energy camera on the inner solar system. The sun's glare makes observations impossible for most of the day, so the researchers had just two 10-minute windows of twilight each night to make their observations. NASA tracks the locations and orbits of roughly 28,000 asteroids, following them with the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, an array of four telescopes that can perform a scan of the entire night sky every 24 hours. Since ATLAS was brought online in 2017, it has spotted more than 700 near-Earth asteroids and 66 comets. Two of the asteroids detected by ATLAS, 2019 MO and 2018 LA, actually hit Earth, the former exploding off the southern coast of Puerto Rico and the latter crash landing near the border of Botswana and South Africa. Fortunately, those asteroids were small and didn't cause any damage. NASA has estimated the trajectories of all the near-Earth objects beyond the end of the century. Earth faces no known danger from an apocalyptic asteroid collision for at least the next 100 years. But this doesn't mean astronomers think they should stop looking. In March 2021, for example, a bowling ball-sized meteor exploded over Vermont with a force of 440 pounds of TNT. Space agencies around the world are already working on possible ways to deflect a dangerous asteroid if one were ever headed our way. On September 26, the Double Asteroid Redirection Test spacecraft redirected the non-hazardous asteroid Dimorphos by ramming it off course, altering the asteroid's orbit by 32 minutes in the first test of Earth's planetary defense system. China has also suggested it is in the early planning stages of an asteroid redirect mission. By slamming 23 Long March 5 rockets into the asteroid Bennu, which will swing within 4.6 million miles of Earth's orbit between the years 2175 and 2199, the country hopes to divert the space rock from a potentially catastrophic impact on our planet. If you like this video, you may also enjoy this one, which talks about a frightening discovery made by the International Space Station Tracker. Do you think an asteroid could cause the extinction of humans? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below.